Hey everybody, uh, this is Jay. Welcome to another episode of Bonsai's Forever. This is going to be episode number two of how to care for your bonsai trees. So I've got three trees right here. They are the same species. They are all in different conditions. Um, one of them is healthy, one of them is needing repotted, and one of them is not doing so well. So I'm going to go over what to do to not because it's not doing so well and when it needs repotted what to do what to look for how to do that and then how to maintain a tree that is doing well and just needs some work so i'm going to put this one aside for now and repotting on put side over here and we're going to start with this guy here so this is a ficus benjamina this is a tropical tree and the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to look it over and see if i can find anywhere that it is alive and I'm going to try and um, use that to make the tree grow again to rebuild the tree to help it to survive so the first thing I'm going to do like I said I'm going to look at the roots it's got some weeds in here and they are very well established in this pot so I'm going to pull those out First, this weeds take away the nutrients from the tree. They take away the water, they take away all the nutrients that the tree needs. So this, this here was a really big flower and I finally just cut it off because I couldn't pull it out. It's just, I mean, it's part of the, the root system of the tree. So I'm gonna pull this out of here, I'm gonna look at it. The tree doesn't look like it has too many roots for the pot. It still looks like the, the root base is growing still. It looks okay. It looks healthy. It's got white roots at the ends, which is what we want. Those are feeder roots. Those are good. So I do notice that there are some roots that are going around the top of the pot here. And we don't want that because we don't want it to wrap the pot because that makes it, um, it makes it root bound. That also makes the roots go in an undesirable direction as to when you want to put it into your bonsai pot. You don't want roots going, you know, at sharp angles or circling around before it gets to the edge of the pot. So those we're going to take off um, at, at the bend to make it go straight again. So right here, I'm going to cut that one off. The ones on the bottom that were coming out of the pot, those got to go too. So we can reduce the length of some of the roots. I cut those ones off too. And then like these ones that are going around the pot also, we're going to cut those back. We're not going to completely remove them. We're just going to cut them back. If we were doing a complete repot, that's when we would go in and take some of the soil away and we would um, change the direction of roots and stuff like that. But at this point, this tree needs its roots. You don't want to take off the roots because then that goes away also. So what we have to do is we have to leave as many of the roots as on here as possible and keep the roots healthy, which will all ultimately make the tree healthy. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work on getting this um, out of the soil, this, uh, this flower or weed, whatever it was. I might just... I might just cut it off at the soil because I'm not going to be able to get those roots out of the soil without completely um, taking all the roots out of the soil, the, the tree's roots and everything. So I'm going to kind of cut into the soil a little bit, see if I can get down in there and at least get the whole plant out because getting the roots from the plant is really good for making sure this doesn't grow again. And we don't want it to grow again. So, with that being taken care of, we can put this back into the pot. Uh, sometimes when it's like this, putting it in a bigger pot might help also. And if you're going to do that, just tease the edge of the roots to where they're um, exposed a little bit. Put it in the new soil and add soil to it. I'm not going to do that with this tree. I'm going to, basically, I'm just going to chop off the dead branches now because... Honestly, there's not 
a whole lot more that I can do with this particular tree except to keep it out of the sun, which it's starting to cool down out here. Keep it out of the sun, keep it in a humid area, which I'm gonna keep it in the greenhouse, and then just, um, it should grow back. Don't fertilize it, don't do anything else other than just keeping it watered properly. Don't overwater it, don't underwater it. So I'm gonna take off the dead branches, and you can tell they're dead because all the living branches have a bud at the end of the branch that is showing that it's the branch is alive. So you're going to go look for the end of the branches and if it has a bud. And also the, the branches will um, thin out. They'll lose all their moisture and they'll get thinner than they, they should be at that size of a branch. So this branch here should be about this thick. Hope you can see that. I'm gonna bring it in a little bit closer here to show you. And you can see the discoloration of that branch also. So you can see the discoloration and how much thinner it is because it should be about that thick. And so then I'm gonna take this uh, larger branch off that has died. That's about all I can do with this tree for now. Um, you're gonna wanna keep it in a moist area. This this soil is actually too wet for the tree right now. You don't want it that wet. Um, so I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna put it in a spot in the greenhouse that doesn't get directly watered. All right, so this tree is the other one that I'm gonna be working on. It's got some really large uh, roots, really gnarly looking roots, which are actually a lot bigger uh, than I'd really like with this tree. In particular, I want to make this a smaller tree, so having giant roots like this just doesn't look very good. So Basically, I'm just cutting the roots right at the bottom of the pot so that I can get the tree out of the pot. So I have my tray to put the soil in so I don't lose it. I'm not sure how long this tree has been in this pot. So I'm going to rake this out. I just want to break up the majority of the soil on this tree. These trees, I don't always recommend completely taking all the soil out of the, the roots. What I really want to do is get to um, see what the roots look like under the soil so I can determine what roots I want to keep, what roots I want to take off. The ficus benjamina trees should be repotted at least once a year I would say in the developmental stage as they grow roots pretty rapidly and they grow really large roots pretty rapidly so if you want to keep the roots um, small they have to uh, ramify like the branches do so to keep the branches smaller you have more ramifications so with the roots is the same thing you want to keep the roots smaller you want them to ramify and have more roots so that they're pulling in the right amount of nutrients and with smaller roots. So basically I'm just... All right, so that's pretty good. And the main thing I wanna do with this tree here is I wanna take this, this root off right here because that's just way too big. This one looks all right. This one's kind of getting a little larger and this one I already trimmed off right here and it's starting to get fat again. Uh, also with ficus trees, you can split the roots and uh, do a little bit of like carving on them, not necessarily with power tools, but carve on them a little bit and make them to a smaller uh, size. And that also works. All right, so first I'm gonna cut this one off. I use my branch cutters. 
right in there and just swap it off like that. I think I need to sharpen my branch cutters. Yep, definitely need to. Uh, so there we go. All right. Now it's got a root right here. This root right here is going in between a root here and this root here. So I want to keep this root. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the other side. All right, so now I got that root cut off and then behind it, there's another root that it's going through. So I'm going to cut that one off also. Sometimes these, sometimes trees are like a puzzle. You got to take them apart piece by piece. All right, so there is that. And that's a giant amount of roots. That was a pretty good root, um, but I don't, I don't need it. I don't need it. This is good like this, because I've got this one on this side. I've got this smaller one on this side here also. And I've got these aerial roots that are starting to grow pretty good. So those are gonna contribute to what's going on in here. And then on the bottom, and you can see these really brightly colored roots here. Those are coming out right out of the bottom of the trunk. So that's that's pretty awesome. I haven't really seen a whole lot of that before. So I'm pretty excited about that. That means that the tree is actually growing pretty well. Even though it looks a little sparse, it's, it's doing okay. So the other thing is this root right here on the bottom of this, this root here. It's coming underneath of it. I want to take that off. Because that will interfere with the other, with this root. Then I'm going to take the big knuckle off of this root. I'm going to just trim it from the side here. Because it's got a root coming out the end. So I took that one off. Left the one on the end. I'm going to trim it up a little bit. Having sharp scissors is a good idea for a root printing. All right, so I got that pretty well trimmed up there. Now these ones on the end, this one's getting really thick at the end. It's not so bad here, but it's getting really thick at the end. So I'm gonna cut the end off. Just like that. Put that in the compost. All right, so that looks pretty good, just like that. I know it looks kind of weird right now. These will start growing and we'll reduce these later and those will catch up. Actually, I'm gonna reduce the ends, the very ends of these. I'm gonna cut them off because these will put roots out the end of the, the main root. So there's that. And then I'm gonna put it back in the same pot that it was in. kind of tell where it was at in the pot because it just kind of fits so it's going to look just like that again so i got my bonsai soil here and then we're going to fill in all the spaces here and i know i've shown plenty of repotting videos so i'm just going to fill this up take care of it and get on to the next tree Okay, so there it is, all set up in its new pot. And it's got a couple of dead branches, so I'm gonna remove those really quick. And it's got one branch going across to everything else, which I don't like, so I'm gonna take that off. 
There we go. And all right, there we go. So this tree is still in development. So I'm not going to do anything else crazy with this tree. It just needs to be repotted and the, the roots reduced. And now you can see it looks a little bit better in there. It's got some really big rocks in there. There you go. So it looks better. I'm going to just let this one grow again. And I will uh, take the ends of the branches off later on. Uh, once it gets a few more leaves on it, it gets a little bit more um, uh, back budding on it. And that is that. All right, so this tree is doing pretty well. It's got a lot of growth on it, a lot of branches going in a lot of crazy directions, and and it needs um, it needs brought back into shape. So as you know, a tree is alive, so it's going to keep growing as you water it, as you fertilize it. It's going to grow. So it grows, things die, things grow, things die. So what we're going to do is we are going to first we're going to take off the yellow leaves this happens naturally that's not because the tree's unhealthy or dying it just happens naturally the leaves shed as they get more leaves on them the older leaves will shed off it's at the base of the branch coming off the secondary branch with the base of the tertiary branch so i'm going to cut that off because it could get bacteria or disease in there whatever I always leave a little bit when I cut the branches off and then go back and trim them off later. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I have this root, it's an aerial root. It's coming down from way up here on the tree and it's in the soil, but it's crossing this branch. And I wanna decide whether I wanna keep that or if I want to get rid of that and at this point I think that I'm gonna get rid of the really big aerial roots coming down from the upper canopy of the tree because I don't want it to thicken up right here and make inverse taper on this branch so I'm gonna take these off so that they don't look weird because this so as you can see, it goes right across the top of this branch right here. And that's not ideal. We don't, we don't want to do that. And if I can, that's going to make it um, have an adverse taper right there also, or an inverse taper. So I'm going to take that off. And as you can see, there's a ton of aerial roots on this tree. So I'm going to take all of those arrow roots off this tree because I really don't want it to be uh, growing a whole bunch of arrow roots at this point. Later on, I'll probably let it grow some arrow roots because it looks good. This one I'll leave and the lower ones I'll leave because all these look kind of cool on this tree. I, I like it. So this one's got to go. I don't want to cut the branch, but I want to cut the root. So just kind of got to be careful a little bit of time if you need to and then there we go and if it pulls right out of the soil then we can just pull it right out of the soil if it's not going to pull right out of the soil which it's not it pulled the bark layer off the root so what i'm going to do i'm just going to cut it at the soil and that'll be fine for now it, it's okay if the rest of it stays in there so then i'm going to cut the rest of these off So sometimes you can pull the roots off, just grab it and pull it off and it just comes right off. The larger ones, obviously you're going to have to cut those off and they will grow up the branches too, like clear out onto the branches and onto the, the tertiary branches even. If you want to grow the aerial roots, just keep your tree in a humid area and it'll just grow them or you can spritz it every so often uh, throughout the week and it'll it'll grow aerial roots okay so that looks pretty good with the aerial roots i got one more right here i think 
If I see any more later, I'll, I'll get them as I go, I guess. Oh, this one's crazy. It's growing around this branch. I don't want that. Okay, so there's that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I'm going to find all the leaves that are growing at the base of the branches. And I'm going to cut off all the dead branches. I'm going to just kind of go up the tree. This tree has been pretty well maintained. It's just, it's kind of been growing next to other trees. That's why these branches are, are standing straight up here. And I can remedy that with some wire. So also another thing that happens with these trees is if you can see this right, well, if I can get these out of the way, if you can see this right here, branches grow at the base of the other branches. And if I want the branch to go this way, I cut that one off right here and then leave this branch or I can leave this branch and cut this one off. And I think what I'm going to do is cut the one off that's going upwards. So the other thing is with this, I'm looking at the direction that the branches are going. And I want to make sure that all the branches are kind of coming outwards from the tree. Because having all the branches go up like this, that just, they, they find up on each other. Really, it just, it looks weird. So I mean, if it looked like that, it would even look a little bit better. But in this instance, I've got these two branches that are growing like, one's growing right across from this one, which this one's going to come off anyway because it's at the base of the branch. And so is this one. So I'm going to take this one and this one off. So one of the main things that you're looking for is the aesthetic of the tree to make sure that the tree looks like a tree. You don't want it to look like a shrub. You don't want it to look like, like it's unkept. You know, you want it to, you don't want it to be pretty. You want it to catch your eye. So really when you're working on it, just whatever catches your eye, make it look like that because it's your tree. So make it look like what you want it to look like. If you don't like a branch, take it off. If you like a branch that doesn't go along with the rules, as long as it's not going to cause the tree um, health issues, leave it there. A lot of people think that having like a twin trunk uh, tree like this, they don't like them. I... I really like them, obviously. I've, I've let this one continue to grow like this, and I've got quite a few of them like this. <clears throat> I've also got others that look like a tree. You know, they don't have the extra stuff, so they, they do look just like a tree. With Or a single trunk tree, actually, is what I'm saying. But this one's got two trunks. I have wired it. As you can see, there's some wire scars here. So I actually had this wired where it was out here like this and over time it stood back up so I think I'm going to put some more wire on this tree so that you can see what it looks like to put wire on a, a ficus tree because ficus trees are um, they're very flexible so they bend really well I mean this I could bend this into a loop and it's not gonna break the branch so they're very flexible but also like a branch this thick it can crack it can crack, it can break, it can uh, uh, split the bark. So you do you do still have to be careful, but you can bend them pretty, pretty awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and do that also. The top of the tree here has got a whole bunch of growth that I've cut way back um, to for more uh, ramification below that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm not too happy with the middle being all like this. With this branch off of it so I can either take this branch off or I can put bend this branch out I might just bend that branch out because that actually looks pretty good look at that. yeah I'm gonna bend that out I'm gonna bend this one out like this but I'm gonna bend this one down also so it's gonna look more like that over here all right so I'm gonna put wire on this and I'll come back to you
So now when I'm putting the wire on, I want to avoid going right over the top of the old wire scars because I don't want to make them worse. I want to see if I can enhance the tree rather than making it worse. So I'm going to go just below it on this, in this instance here. And you want to make sure and wrap it tight. You want to make sure and keep even spaces. And there was something else, but I just can't think of it right now. Make it tight, even. Yeah, I probably won't think of it. <laughs> That's okay. Just make sure that it looks good and it's holding the branch. You want to use the right size wire so that it will actually hold the branch. Otherwise, you're just wrapping wire on a, a branch for no reason. It really doesn't... The wire doesn't make the tree look better, the, the bends make the tree look better. When you're using structural wire, that was it. When you're using structural wire, run it out as far as you can run it for the structure of the branch. You don't want to run it out to here and then need to bend all this and have to wrap more wire on it. So run it out as far as you need it. Make sure you hold, hold the branch as you're bending the wire around the branch. Don't just let the branch uh, take the uh, force of the wire. All right, that's all the way out. All right, now this one, I'm gonna run up to this branch. Normally I wouldn't run it up the trunk of the tree, but it's gonna work. It's going to work just fine doing that. A lot of times I would run a piece of wire from here to here. But I kind of want to bend this also. So I'm going to run it up the trunk. And this, I'm going to kind of spread it out a little bit right here. Because I'm not bending it here. I'm going to bend it up here. All right, so I'm gonna make sure and keep it evenly spaced, running this wire up the tree for my, my bend. So I'm going underneath of it here because I'm going to pull the branch down and it'll give it more support pulling it down. I am going to wrap it up the main branch instead of the side branch. That'll be wired separately because this, this wire here is going to be the structure wire and then the other wire will be um, for just for the bending of this branch. I'll make sure and keep your leaves out of the wire. I want to smash them. And this wire is probably a little big for the end of this tree. So I'm going to run it up as high as I can get it without damaging anything. Branch. Over this branch. So I'm going to undo the even spacing at the top of the tree because it's not absolutely necessary up here just to keep this wire going. And it's not going to exactly be tight at the top either, and that's okay. It's okay up here because it doesn't need to hold it too much. It's just going to um, bend it down a little bit. 
All right, so I'm gonna see if this will bend it. And if it does, that's enough wire. If not, I'll have to put another piece of wire on it. So I'm gonna bend it down right here. Just kinda of wanna, yep, just like that. Now this piece, I want it to go back up. But I want it to go over here and up. Kind of bend it hard right here. Down a little bit more here. Alright, something like that. And then this branch I'm going to wire out. So this, I don't think this is going to be enough wire. I might run another piece of wire up to this branch and double it up here. So I'm going to see if I can bend it. Sometimes bending it a little bit at a time gives it a chance to separate a little bit. Separate the, the fibers inside the trunk to let it actually bend. And then I'll just look at it and see if it comes back because it has some elasticity to it. So we'll watch it. It looks like it's going to hold it. So now I can bring this part back up a little bit. And see how it's straightened this part back out. So we'll go back down and bend that back down a little bit more. And I'm pushing on the, the tree, not on the wire. If, if you notice, if you push on the wire, it'll push into the bark of the tree. And we don't want to damage the bark, so try and push just on the tree. All right, that gave it a little bit of a bend. I'm gonna run some more wire up it and wire this branch out. All right, so I'm gonna put a hook in this end of the, the wire. I wanna make it as thick as this branch here. So I'm gonna bend it to where it goes up the tree. And I'm gonna put the hook around this branch, like this. All right, so then I can wrap the wire up this tree and it's hooked onto that branch. Definitely be mindful of that end of the, this end of the wire, because this end of the wire could cause problems if you're not paying attention. I'm just going to follow the other piece of wire that's going up the trunk. I really didn't need to use this big a wire to wire this branch, but because I'm wiring the trunk also, might as well use the wire that's going all the way up the tree to wire out this branch too. Because this wire is so big, I'm giving it a lot more space in between the wraps to avoid branches. And because I really don't need that much wire, um, I don't need it that close together to give it the strength that it needs. I'm gonna kind of go around this part of the tree too. I'm just gonna I'm gonna wrap the wire with my fingers, like make it go the direction I want it to, instead of grabbing the branch and using the branch at all, because that's a tiny branch, and that would definitely rip off. All right, now I'm gonna try and bend this more where I want it. Try and use just the trunk of the tree to bend it. Staying a little bit better. Okay, I want this to stand back up a little bit. 
but I want this to be the apex of the tree instead of this out here. I want that to be branches. There we go, kind of like that. So now this is actually standing up as it bends and it's standing up instead of sticking out this way. So I like that. Now we're gonna make these into branches. Like I said, I'm gonna bend it out this way. Like that. Now we're gonna bend this one out. And it's gonna come down. And it's gonna go back up a little bit. Yes. I'm gonna do that with this branch too. Eventually, I want these branches to come out and be a part of the canopy up over here. So I want them to go down, but I want them to come back up to be part of it because all the branches go up into the canopy. This one's going to come back down a little bit, but like the lower branches, they're going to go straight out and then they'll come out. They'll come up way out here. This branch has got to get a lot thicker. Um, one thing to, to do with this branch is just to let it grow. Just let it grow and let it grow and let it grow as long as you can get it to grow and that will help to thicken it up right here same with this one i'm going to just let this one grow i'm not going to cut any of the leaves off of it i'll even leave the leaves at the base of the branches when they start growing new branches i'll leave those just to give it extra uh, strength on that branch and the branches that you want to slow down like these ones you can um, partially defoliate those and also take off the leaves at the base of the branches so this one looks like the branch actually died before it really got anywhere so that leaf isn't going to grow any branch that won't grow any branch right there so i might as well just cut it off all together and then this one it does have a little branch started it's kind of behind the wire i hope i didn't damage it while i was putting the wire on it looks like it'll be okay and then this one's got another branch right here that's growing out. This one should grow a branch, and this one should grow a branch, but I don't want that one to. So I'll take that off. So on this one, I've got a lot more branching on this one. And they're all coming out this direction. All of them are coming out the same direction. So I'm going to cut this one off because it's at the bottom of the bend. I don't want that one there. And then I'm going to leave this one. I'm going to take the leaves some of the leaves off of these ones to slow this branch down because I want this one to catch up. All right, so now I've got this branch underneath here and I like it. So I'm gonna leave it on the tree, but I am gonna wire it. I also like this branch really well. That's, that's pretty sweet. So I'm gonna leave that one. And then this, this branch here, I'm gonna twist it a little bit to get it away from these branches. So I'm going to bend it this way. There we go. More like that. So it gave more space to these branches here. You're going to have to look at each branch and make sure each branch looks the way you want it to. So when you're, when you're looking at the tree you want to look at each branch and you want to make sure that each branch has its own structure because each branch individually plays a role in the the appearance of the whole tree so if you have one branch that looks really weird that doesn't go along with the tree um, that'll draw your eyes to that one branch and you won't see the whole tree so you kind of want to you want to see the whole tree while you're looking at it but you want your eyes to come into the tree and look at the tree you know you want people to stare at it and be like wow that's a really cool tree you know so if you have branches that look funky and they're taking away from the tree kind of like this one it's really big at the top of the tree that just doesn't look good so i'm going to take that one off i'm going to take it off right at the trunk and that can be another tree so now that looks better and then 
this branch here will kind of take its place in this section. It'll grow up this way and eventually I'll wire this one up to where it's coming out and then going back up to make the canopy here. And this is going to be like another canopy over on this side. It's going to be a canopy here and a canopy here. So now I'm going to trim off some of the, the branches that look weird. Like this one's like completely going off the angle. Like I said, this is the one that I trim that leaf off and maybe I'll trim it back later. Maybe I won't and I'm going to. So that looks a lot better. Now this, this will grow a branch here, here and here. And that'll make a top of the tree. So one thing with these also, if I leave this long like that, this branch will grow off to the side. So if I can cut this to where it'll give space for this branch to grow upwards, I want to do that. But I don't want to cut it too close because that'll damage the, the terminal bud here. And you don't want to do that because then that branch won't grow at all. And on this one, it doesn't matter because that's going to be the top of the tree. But that part is dead and this tip is actually dead too. So I'm going to have to cut it back to here. like that all right so as this as this grows it will thicken up and then I can bend it and it'll even the tree out and it'll look better that's another way of taking care of the branches that are going off at a crazy angle all right so this branch here and this branch here kind of taking up the same space so I'm gonna wire this branch over a little bit actually I'm gonna probably wire this branch these two branches over and let that one grow here these trees don't need really thick wire to bend smaller branches I mean, obviously this trunk you can see that it needed a little bit thicker wire I mean using two pieces rather than a thicker piece is actually better on this situation because it gives it more more holding space rather than one spot in a circle wrapping it because it's got a smaller space. This has two thin edges that are touching the branch and one wire would be one thin edge and that can cut in easier. This will take longer for the wire to dig into the, the trunk here. But on a smaller branch, you don't need a really thick piece of wire. And these trees grow pretty rapidly so once you see it start to dig in, you can take the wire off, let it grow for a while and heal, and then wrap it again with the wire and re-bend the branches. And that works pretty well. All right, so that's looking pretty good with those branches. I want to leave this branch for now. I'll eventually wire that, but it's it's so small right now. Wiring it's not going to really matter. It's not going to hold its position. So this branch here doesn't look really good either. So I'm going to take that one off also. I cut it in inwards a little bit of the, the shape of the tree. So that it doesn't leave a knot, a really big knot right there. I'm going to cut this branch back. Because that one's way too long.
I'm going to wire this one out. kind of roll the branch this way a little bit because I want these leaves to be oriented upwards so then I'm going to roll the branch over when I twist the branch as I'm doing that then it orients the leaves properly just like that This wire is way too big for this branch. So I'm just kind of leafing it around the branch. It's not tight. Because it will give it, it'll give it some bend. And I just bend the wire and the branch will go. Just like that. And then I'm gonna cut the end of the wire off. That, cut this end off. All right, and that, that's basically how you wire a uh, ficus spingimina and how you kind of maintain the leaf structure on it. I know it kind of seems like it's complicated and tough to do, but it's really, it's really pretty easy. Um, just make sure you wrap the wire and don't catch the branches as you're wrapping the wire and make sure that you're just looking it over and tighten off branches that don't need to be there, wiring branches into the, the area that you want them to be in and looking into the, the future if you can, because like what I said with these ones, these ones are going to be up over here and this is going to be the canopy of the tree. It's going to be about this tall here and it's going to go clear over to here. It's going to go clear over to here. And this will be a canopy over here. So having these ones looping up into where it's going to sit over here, that is definitely helpful to know where you want the branches to end up also. So it's just a little bit of thinking, a little bit of practice, a lot of bit of practice, and just um, paying attention to what's going on with your trees and just um, kind of knowing how they grow also because these ones... This one's grow pretty quick, so I can do a lot of work on them. So this branch is also really way too big up here. So I'm going to cut this one off, give it some more space for a new smaller branch to grow in that section. Because this will, they do back bud pretty well. Um, it's probably not going to back bud until summertime or springtime. So this is kind of its last, its last treatment before uh, it starts going into dormancy, which they slow down their growth. They don't stop growing. They just slow down. These are a tropical tree. I have to keep them in the greenhouse during the winter time. So it's just going to slow down. It's not going to stop growing. And we'll see how it looks in the springtime. Should look pretty cool. And this, the wires, the wires, they should last until spring because it is slowing down. Now, if you're doing this in, in the springtime, putting the wires on, you have to keep a close eye on it because those wires will dig in pretty quick. A couple of months, um, two to two to five months. I mean, I, I wouldn't put it past five months because they grow pretty quick, especially if you're fertilizing it pretty regularly. So you want to make sure that you watch it. When you start seeing it to dig in, just take the wires off and be careful. If you unwrap it, be really careful not to break stuff off or just cut cut the wire every every space here. And that'll just, the wire will come off that way too. <clears throat> so I hope you enjoyed this video on how to take care of a ficus bonsai and maintain it. And like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.